Cezanne. He's one of the most important artists of the 19th and early 20th centuries. Really influential on other artists and, and beyond, and still influential today. We're going to talk about Cezanne and do some art in the style of Cezanne. Cezanne was born in 1839 in the south of France. His family was an extremely wealthy family of lawyers, but he really wasn't that interested in law. He was more interested in things like poetry, music, and art. He has a very unique and influential art style that started to move painting towards the abstract movements. So Cezanne began taking art lessons at the age of 10, but his parents never really thought of that as a career, as more of a hobby. Um, they really wanted him to be a lawyer. After two years of, art, of law school, he decided to drop out and do art full time. His art was originally really not very well received at all. Most critics didn't, didn't like it very much. At that time in France, if you wanted to be an artist, you really needed to be part of the official academy, known as the Salon. And the Salon basically took artists and they looked at their work and they either put it in their show or they didn't. And if you weren't in the show, you pretty much weren't anybody in art in France at that time. And France was starting to become the center of the art world. So Cezanne submitted his artwork and was summarily rejected. He could not get his artwork in, into the Salon, but he wasn't the only one. There were certainly a number of other painters that wanted to get into the Salon and that were trying to create this new style and new look. And the style was starting to was starting to look at painting in a way that instead of trying to paint something pretty much exactly, almost photographically, they really wanted the paint to show and look like paintings. So artists such as Monet, Manet, Renoir, Pizarro, and others, they all started to get together and said, you know what, we should create our own show. Um, since they were also all rejected by the Salon. Um, their artwork is much different than Salon, the Salon artwork, the, uh, the, or the Academy of the time. Um, showing the brush strokes, you can clearly tell by looking at their work that they're paintings. There would be no, no way that you would ever mistake that or paintings for a photograph. Because the art of showing the paint strokes is one of the things that set them apart from previous artists. So they decided to create their own show, and they did. The Salon des Refusés, or the Salon of the Refused. They had the show in this building, and they invited all the critics to come up, come, and several of the uh, members of the salon to come and, and look at their work all together. And of course, after the critics saw all the wonderful work they did, the critics all said, no, we still don't like it. It's terrible work. In fact, they said that they weren't even real painters, that they were just doing an impression of a painter, almost like they were pretending to be painters. They said things like, it's a funny expression, or, um, I looked for what was tolerable amongst the Impressionist pictures, and the critics really thought of it as a joke, as, as a put-down that these are fake painters and they're only being an impression of a painter. But the group liked the name, and they thought, well, there's some truth to that, in that they're not trying to paint something exactly, they're trying to paint an impression of the real thing. So they kept the name, and Impressionism was born. What I would like to do is have a comparison between the two different styles, the styles that were more typical of the Salon at that time, and the styles of the Impressionists, specifically Cezanne. Here we've got two paintings, both of the same subject, the bowl of cherries, but both treated in a very, very different way. We're going to be comparing and contrasting, and what I would like you to do is create a chart that compares things that they notice about the Salon and things they notice about the Cezanne paintings. And what are their differences? What are their similarities? What I'd like to do on the side of your chart, I would like you to write these principles and parts of design. Line, shape, color, texture, form, detail, value like light, darkness and light of the picture, the mood of the picture, and even the subject matter of the picture. And compare them. What Are they similar? Are they different? And in what ways? So we're going to talk about each one one at a time to write down your own input and compare it for yourself. So let's go back to the cherries example. On your chart, write down what do you see differently on the painting from the salon and the painting by Cezanne. How is the paint different? How is the color different? How does each represent the form or the three-dimensional nature of each shape differently? Think about the angle. 
one of the things Cezanne did often is he wouldn't draw it exactly how he saw it. He would often change the angle, change the size, change the position of objects to improve his painting. He didn't wasn't obsessed by making it exactly what he saw. Here we have a different type of painting. We went from what was a still life and now this is a portrait. And look at how are these paintings different? How are they different in their background? How are the two characters different, these two people? Is one um, upper class and one lower class? What about the setting? Is one more fantasy and one more real life? Look at the details on the, on the clothing. Is one more realistic and one more designed? Compare and write down your thoughts. The next picture on to a landscape. Now these, this Cezanne is much later in his career, more in his post-impressionist period, and you, one of the things you will notice is that he's moved even more in the direction that the Impressionist started. That's why post-impressionism um, still keeps the Impressionist name, because it has a lot of the characteristics of the original Impressionism. You see how in the far away distance he uses his blues to make it feel much farther and far away. But his paint strokes are much more apparent even than in his earlier work, um, much more abstract. And if you compare that to some of the salon work, which is highly detailed, compare the two works in their, their color. Is one brighter? How is the mood different from each one? How does it make you feel? The value, the light and dark qualities of the painting. How are they different? How do they compare? Write down your thoughts. So Cezanne's work moved into post-impressionism in the later part of his career, and his work really influenced a lot of painters into the 20th century, including Matisse and Kandinsky, Picasso. And Cezanne had an early career that was very troubled and had a hard time selling his work, but in his later life, he wound up being very successful and really found um, his place in the art world. Cezanne painted until his very last days. He was an avid painter outdoors, and this mountain that you see in this photo, um, he painted quite often. And one day he was out painting, and a storm broke out, and he was painting in the cold and the rain. And he was doing his best, but he was 67 years old, and it was too much for him, and he wound up collapsing. Someone found him on the side of the road and um, brought him to the house. Um, and he laid in bed, and he promised that the next day he would go out again to finish his painting because he was so dedicated. But unfortunately he was too weak to do it and he succumbed to pneumonia and wound up dying several days later. So some of the things I'd like you to remember about Impressionism are, in the terms of the Impressionist style in general, is that it's a not very detailed sketchy style. It's very colorful. Um, the Impressionists like to paint very familiar everyday things. Monet liked to paint water, um, Cezanne was uh, still life and landscapes, um, Renoir liked to paint the life of um, his friends and parties that he went to. Um, they often painted outdoors and in nature, they wanted to get out of the stuffy studio, and in general they painted an impression of what they saw, so not exactly a reproduction like a photograph might. Cézanne, born in the south of France in 1839 to a wealthy family of lawyers, he was one of the original Impressionists and became one of the most well-known and influential post-Impressionist painters. He dropped out of law school to become a painter. He's famous for still life and landscape. He changed the size, shape, and position of objects in his paintings. It was lucky, so if he didn't like something um, in a certain place, he would change the angle um, to make it fit better in his painting. And he also likes to use bright and very vivid colors. So that is all with Cezanne. Let's see if you can go out and try to paint something in the style of Cezanne. Um, do your best. Remember to not try to draw something exactly. Feel free to try to capture the essence of something without drawing it exactly like it is. And use bright, vivid colors. And be bold.